What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review and it is on the brand new Elite Series 57 Seth freaking Rollins and the Perfect 10 Ty Dillinger. These figures look incredible. Of course we have had so many Seth Rollins figures in the past and I have quite the collection of Seth Rollins figures as I might show in this video. But this is our very first Ty Dillinger Elite. We got the Target exclusive NXT Basic which looked incredible. It looks like they did reuse that head scan, but I am not going to argue with that because it's a really good head scan. Um, there's not much to the packaging. You know, we usually go over it, but it is the brand new packaging. You got a shot of Seth Rollins on the back. Rest of the figures in the wave there. Same thing for the Ty Dillinger. Nice, beautiful picture of the perfect 10 there. Rest of the figures, some info there. If you'd like to read that, I guess you could pause it now. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let's go ahead and crack these sons of guns out of their packaging. Real quick, guys, before we get into the review, I want to give a huge shout-out to Ringside Collectibles, the biggest sponsor of the channel. If you would like to pick up this Seth Rollins or Ty Dillinger, go over to their website, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10% at checkout. Now that we've got that squared away, guys, let's get into the review. All right, guys, and here we have Seth freaking Rollins and the Perfect 10 out of their packaging. And both of these figures are magnificent, guys. I think that Mattel knocked it out with this Elite 57 series. All the detail we get with Seth over here and all of his freaking, like, I, I cannot wait to show you guys the details they included over here with Seth. And then this figure right here is pretty much a Perfect 10. Besides some parts issues that they use with uh, Ty Dillinger right here, you know how Mattel is. They always like to do some bonehead things with their parts-wise. But what I'm going to do is cover Ty's accessories and then cover Ty and then we'll cover Seth's accessories and then cover Seth. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so getting into Ty Dillinger's accessories, this is the only accessory that he comes with and it is his little entrance vest thing. And you know how Mattel is, they always give us the the uh, rubber accessories, but I think this works well for rubber. I think it works better. Um, if it were cloth, I don't think you could get this stability that you get with this little neck thing that Ty Dillinger wears. Um, of course, you do get the little tin on the uh, buckle right here that fastens at the middle. And it looks very nice. I think that Mattel did a good job on this. You got all your studs in here, black and white. On the back, you do get a big number 10, which looks great. More studs around there. You get perfect up there. That's his little perfect logo that's on his trunks as well. And I think they did a good job with this piece. It's the first time we're getting this, if I'm not mistaken. If, uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comment section below. But I think they did a great job on this piece. And then, of course, you get your little stand right here. And is it me or do these things lose their quality? Like, I know the artwork looks great great and all, but I feel like when they print it off, it just loses some of its, uh, its image quality and it may come out a bit hazy. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's get into the figure itself. Alright guys, getting into the Ty Dillinger Elite, this head scan looks so very nice. I've never owned the basic before, so I do not know if it's the exact head scan, but I'm about 95% sure that it is, and I think they did a great job. It looks just like Ty Dillinger going around. You have your designs in his hair, got the little ponytail right there. I think the hair color is nice. The body choice they used for this is perfect. I think this looks just like Ty Dillinger. You know, it's not too big, not too small. I think it's just right. We do get the old arms, so it's better articulation black wrist tape. We do get his little Bearcat tattoo right here, which looks great. I am loving the color choice they went with. They went with his, like, fuchsia colored trunks, and I am loving the color they went with. We got the Perfect 10 decal on there, and on the back, we do get the 10 logo, which looks great as well. Got the little studs in there, and this is what I was talking about for parts-wise. You see his legs, they have the little divots in it, so uh, look at his calves, look at his legs. He has the James Ellsworth syndrome where they have given him tights mold instead of leg mold. So I'm not sure how you can fix that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can do a leg swap, so I'm not sure what you can do. Maybe a thigh swap if you pop it off right here. But I'm not sure what you can do about that. Uh, you might can do a lower leg swap and still keep this little uh, thigh cut here. But um, I love this figure. I love the colors they use. The fuchsia knee pads. The uh, heat slater. I think that's what they did. I think they gave us like the Heath Slater legs and then they kept the boots as well because it's the same boot mode as Heath Slater. We get his little two color wrap around and I just love this Ty Dillinger. I think they did a fantastic job on it and I cannot wait to see where they go with Ty Dillinger figures in the future. But this figure is a perfect 10 in my opinion besides the stupid AF uh, molding choice. Alright guys, getting into Seth's accessories. He does come with this brand new molded 
torch that he had at WrestleMania 33. You do get some nice sculpting and paint detail in this torch. Um, I think it's a cool accessory. It actually has something to do with the figure itself, so it's not like it's one-off and random. I'm not sure how accurate it is. I'm pretty sure it's pretty accurate, though. It is your standard little torch, and I think that is very cool that they included that. And they do include, like they always do, they included his entrance vest here. And it looks amazing. Look at all this detail they got in here. The colors, the gunmetal gray mixed with the gray and the little splotches. Seth Rollins logo, that little shield logo they had in there. Um, the little uh, sculpted detail in there with the gold and the black. Just very nice piece. I love this so much. I think they nailed it. And I think it's really cool that they always include his entrance vest. Um, I don't think they've never included it, maybe once ever, with his elites, but this looks amazing, and they knocked this out of so the park. So getting into Seth Rollins himself, we get that NXT Target exclusive head scan, and this time it is full black, and I think this is coming out on the new basic Rollins as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this head scan. It really just doesn't look like Seth Rollins to me. I know a lot of people do like it, though, but... We do get the continued chest hair on this body mold. I love this body mold for Seth Rollins. With the chest hair on there, it is absolutely perfect. We do get the old arm mold, and we do get accurate um, wrists. It's the gold wrist tape or whatever he was wearing on there. It looks very, very nice. We get a new crotch piece. The belt is actually sculpted on there, and I believe, like a lot of other people were saying, this is a brand new Seth Rollins leg mold, and it looks incredible. Look at this gold detail. I'm going to move this arm right here so you guys can see this. Look at all this detail they put into here. Um, you get the little uh, dry brushing of gray over the silver, and then you have the little uh, feather stuff that they sculpted on there, the gold in there. And this attire was really weird because um, they just sort of, uh, it was just one off. It was so random. Nobody really expected him to go out like this. You know, he'll usually give us a new color, but this is like all over the place with detail and stuff. And they totally nailed it. They gave us knee pads and they are gold. I'm glad they didn't put the, uh, the black underneath because, um, I don't know, I just thought that it would look weird. But I guess somebody could go in and add a knee brace if they would like to. I really, really do dig these tights. They're so nice. And then into the kick pads, which is probably my favorite part, um, you get that same detail in there. And on the back, same thing is up there on the crotch. You still get that feathery and gold and gray look. And it looks incredible, guys. This is a must-have figure. If you like Seth Rollins, you must own this Elite figure. It's probably the best Seth Rollins they've made to date. I want to do a head swap on it, but um, this is a fantastic Seth Rollins figure. I cannot get over how much detail they put into this, and um, we get great accessories too, so it's just a fantastic Seth Rollins. But yes, guys, that is the complete Seth Rollins and Ty Dillinger Elite 57 figures. If you like this video, please let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like. Try to get this video to 250 likes. I recommend both of these figures. If you're a Seth Rollins fan, you must have this brand new Seth Rollins mold, guys. This looks incredible. All of the details in there. The WrestleMania 33 gear, it was an amazing match. Amazing gear. Probably the best attire he's worn besides the SummerSlam one versus John Cena. This Ty Dillinger is a must-have as well. You gotta update your roster. You gotta have Ty Dillinger, the Perfect 10, a part of your uh, wrestling figure collection. But that is gonna do it, guys. Leave a comment down below what you think of both of these figures. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna give you you guys an updated look at my Seth Rollins collection. Subscribe for more epic WWE, WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well if you stuck around all the way to the end you get this magnificent surprise right here with my full elite Seth Rollins collection. I believe there is about 14 in here if I'm not mistaken. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Seth Rollins is right here and I love every single one of them and it's crazy because I'm not even a huge fan of Seth Rollins. I like Seth Rollins. I love him as a heel. Um, I can say that. I do love Seth Rollins as a heel, but his face runs are just awful, and the way they script his lines are just very hard to listen to, but I do enjoy Seth Rollins. I just wish they would um, do some more with him. I don't like him feuding with uh, Jason Jordan, but you know, I have my John Cena collection, my Finn Balor's, my Triple H's, my Orton's, my Ziggler's. You know how I am with all those guys, and I'm not even that passionate about Seth Rollins. It just happens that I have his figures. He does have some really awesome figures, and you can see here that I love to collect them. So anytime a Seth Rollins drops, I try to pick it up. I am missing quite a few of his figures. Not really, just the NXT one. And then I have some customs I would like to get done so I'd have all his WWE attires. But I am a fan of Seth Rollins. I'm just not in love with the guy. But here is a run-through of my whole collection. You know, you got your shields, your cash-in, your Elite 37, Elite 52, the brand new one, 
Shield Fix Up, um, Elite 45, TNF, uh, my fantasy blue attire that I'm still in love with to this day. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy this two-in-one figure review. If you stuck around to the end, I'm glad you get to see all of these figures. Um, you are a true freaking subscriber if you waited to the end of the video. Again, try to get this video to 250 likes. If it's at 250 and you're watching this, guys, go ahead and push it to three or 400. Comment down below what you think of these Seth Rollins figures and what you thought of the Ty Dillinger. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.